pretend like I never assembled a printer ever in my life. So we're gonna go to step one, which is assemble the gantry. We're gonna put the bottom screws there in that thing there. And it's gonna go like that there on the bottom. Got it positioned on its side as it suggested. We're gonna come right over here and look here at these. I guess it goes there. And then it goes there. I guess that's where I put the screws. All right, let's put the screws. So we went ahead and found our screws. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install this. We're going in. I'm gonna do that for these. This one, this one, this one, and then three more down here. We have these six screws. Three there, and three down here. I'm gonna go. Make sure it's nice and tight. Keep it nice and stable. So according to our instruction manual, we need to now screw in on the top area. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. That's gonna screw in from the bottom and to the top. And it's this really thin. Uh, oh, there goes the LED screen. In case it doesn't work, that's my fault. And this is where we're gonna screw in our nice little screws here. Put in the other one. There we go. Make it nice and tight. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm sitting here looking for two more screws and I don't have them because the stepper motor's here. Alright, so next we got display screen and material rack. Put the bracket head out front. And then you're going to screw in your screws. Okay, easy peasy, lemon, whatever, squeezy. So that's already in, we're good. We got our gantry in. Let's start hooking up some wires. Oh, wait a minute, that's right, we're supposed to follow the guide. We are hooking up wires. We're hooking up the LCD knob panel right there. Remember I dropped it earlier, so hopefully it still works. Real simple, plug goes in the hole. Plug in hole. Next, pack of three screws, three holes, three screws go in the side. I'm not even showing you this. For next, there we go, we got the panel on, and we're ready to move on to step number 3.3, .3, where I said before wiring. All right, so you're coming around the back end here, and when you come in with it, you're gonna make sure those are open. Hard to do this with one hand. Slide it in. You'll know it's in because that cable clipped and you push down. This one's in also. So you want to make sure those are nice and tight up against the sides, that they're closed against it, that it's pinching in place. That way you know you have it in place. On the same wire, in the back here you're going to have the X motor, X stepper motor. Let's come around the other side and take a look. Just can't see. So here's your stepper motor. You want to take your X motor or X connector, slider in. Boop. Hold on, we can't move on quite yet. We still have to secure, secure the cable wire in place and actually do some wire management back here. So back here on the cable itself, you'll actually see the writing here. You want to get the black of the position label of the flexible flat cable stuck at the line claw. So this is the line claw right here. And this is where we're gonna put this piece here and this piece. So what I do is I like to fold it slightly so that way it fits in underneath. And I just wiggle it in a little bit. And there she goes. On to the next one. All right, so finally moved on to the bottom, like I said a while ago. You're gonna have your bottom Z motor wire connector. Slide it in a gap. Make sure you never force any these in, because if you mess up your pins, you're gonna have a nice long day fixing that. So, we're reconnecting here. So this is where we're gonna secure the cabling in. All right, so now we're screwing in the last piece. Hey, that's nice and secure. That's not going anywhere. Connected, 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 connected. I think we're ready to turn her on. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Dang it. But we're going back to the book again right here. Book says we want to verify that we have the right voltage, which this came from the U.S., so it better be in the right voltage, but I'll check anyway. Forgot. 
it is on the back of the machine, so we're gonna lift her up. And this is right on the back here next to your serial number. That's where it's located. Yay, we made it to the next page. We're finally loading filament. Um, yeah, kind of common sense. 45 degree angle as always. You're gonna just push it in. Gently push the filament in. I can't focus at all. Ignore her. Insert the filament through the hole at the bottom of the heat break. Stop it. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready to load some filament. We're plugged in. Actually, let's turn her on first. Before I load any filament, let's turn her on. Oh! Take this off here. Not that screen. No ma'am, it is a knob. It is a color knob apparently. 